So for strategy for this game, uh, there's three ways to score. The climb at the very end, that's probably going to be a tomorrow problem based on how far we get today and tomorrow. Uh, just because of the level of difficulty climbing a rope. Uh, even for a human, uh, I myself cannot do it. So I don't know how to ex I should expect the robot to do it. Um, we analyze the game pieces and the points per piece, gears actually get you more points per gear than a ball would. So because of that, you're going to get more points strategy-wise from bringing the gear to the station and giving it to the human player. So we prioritize the gear over the balls as a way to score points. This means you just need a good drivetrain and you need to be able to transport the gear from the feeder station to the helicopter. Uh, for balls, strategically, you'd want to aim for the high goal. That's the best way to get the most points. That's the most optimal if you could actually shoot from the feeder station. Uh, otherwise, you want to hit low goal because you can get more balls per uh, trip than shooting high goal, and you can do it faster. We chose to build a high goal shooter, uh, even though strategically the low goal is probably more optimal unless you have a full field shooter, which we may actually be able to create. Awesome, thanks guys for coming out here. So, uh, what did you guys think of today? How, how did it go? Uh, today was... I don't know. It was quite eventful um, as to exactly what we should do and crunching numbers to figure out exactly the best way to get as much points as possible. We spent a lot of time strategy planning, for sure. Yes. Um, the shooter, or what we have of the shooter as of today. So the idea is like when for shooting for the high goal. So there's going to be like a, like a storage area for all the balls here. And then we're gonna have like a pipe that goes down and then this will like this wheel will push it into this wheel that's accelerated and it'll it'll shoot. We prototyped this earlier and it, it looks promising, so hopefully that'll work out nicely. Well yes, so the nice thing about it is when you're during your prototyping phase, um, since it's all kind of slotted like this, you can undo these screws, slide it around, adjust it as needed, and it's very simple to make your slight adjustment rather than if you were to have welded it or riveted it, have to take it all apart and then put it all back together with your specified alterations. It's adaptable Yeah. to put it that way. It should be fairly consistent, I find. Once we get it auto-loading, um, most of it is fixed points, so if you just get um, if you just get it in a certain spot and control this speed right here, you should be able to shoot very consistently, very accurately, and it'll be very reliable. So. Yeah, it should be good. So for programming, what we did was we made a program code before the robot was ready itself. And what this code does is it's a universal code. So you can apply it to any robot and as long as the ports match, it works perfectly. So the advantage of this program code is also that if we program a routine, for example, it can be replayed over and over with some modifications being made as well. It actually saves it to a file on the RoboRio itself and that file can be read and edited anytime you want. So what this means is you can make scripts, you can make automation routines, you can make autonomous code do what you want it to and customly develop. So far, we've come up with a mechanism to hold the gear and deposit it onto the pole uh, to score points. Since uh, we realized that uh, the gear can be on the pole and the human player can actually lift the pole up, therefore, uh, the rope it does not need any mechanisms uh, to uh, move the gear around. So, uh, basically, what we have been trying to do is, as the gear slides in, we have been trying to uh, create a holder for the gear so the gear can uh, fall in. And then we can take the gear and uh, to the pole and then uh, get it uh, fastened in any one of these uh, pie-shaped uh, triangles. And uh, as it's fastened, the human player can actually lift it straight right out of the uh, holder and we can drive back. So far, we've uh, only found, come up with uh, how to hold it. Uh, we're still working on how to guide it from uh, the feeder into the holder.